It's over. Soapnet. Every day, a new twist. I never knew you had a twin. Soapnet. Every day, a new twist. We can't do this. Casey. No, I know you're Casey, hurting, but... I just, I just want to feel like there's some reason to give a damn about anything. This is not the thing that don't you need. Don't tell me what I need. No, don't, uh, don't no tell I will that. tell you, and you're going to listen. Okay, ever since you found out that Allison died, you've been whacking your head against every single brick wall you could find. You know, turning to me, honey, that's just another brick wall. Or maybe it's just nice to feel close to somebody, that somebody being you. No, 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 I... This is not about me. Okay, you're just trying to find something to put it all into. You know, you're right. Yeah. I don't give a damn about you. Okay, okay, okay fine. You don't, what are you, what are you gonna do, huh? You gonna kick some more boulders? What, get drunk, get into a fight? There's an idea, that's a good one. You're thinking now. Or you could just go hang out with some of your friends. Well, I don't know, that list is getting shorter and shorter. Sure. Come on, Jamal, don't make me beg. How's it coming on your end? Well, lyrics, press kits, everything. We need. Hold on, I'll be right back. Miss that? I wasn't sure you'd show up. I mean, when you heard about Allison. Yeah, took a long ride on my motorcycle. Almost didn't come back. Well, I'm glad you did. Hmm. Nice of you to join us, Mr. Ramsey. Joshua. Come over, Reese. You and I made a deal. You're supposed to show up on time, not just disappear anytime you feel like it. I'm sorry. Sir, don't let it happen again. And don't take this warning too lightly, do you understand? Joshua, good to talk to you. Only if you got Caleb's head on a skewer. You looked everywhere. It's like he disappeared. How can he disappear, Frank? He's mortal. He can't disappear. Did you check Libby's apartment? Did you check Caleb's loft? And everywhere else we can think of. Well, that's very strange. Everybody out there is looking for Caleb and Livy, and they cannot be found. Or Rafe. So you faked Allison's death? To keep Joshua off her track. If he thinks that Allison is dead, he's not going to want her to be his bride. Bri oh, please. That is so disgusting. We still got, we got to figure out a way to get rid of Joshua, period. Things are getting way out of hand. How? Caleb, Livy, me, and Allison all stand together. Caleb's all tied up. You the what? four you... of you are staying together. That's got to be a little tense. Yeah, it is. Things could fly apart any second. Okay, wait. So you and Caleb are actually working together to keep Allison safe. There's got to be something in it for Caleb. He, he wants to go back to the way it was, but nobody in Joshua's crew is going to turn him. So well, then why doesn't Libby bite him? Well, she can't. What do you mean she can't? She can't because, because Joshua somehow figured out a way to make her friends poisonous, so anybody she bites ends up dead. Too bad Livy can't just bite her little self, huh? Sorry. What is Caleb looking for? He wants a cure for Livy. It turns out there's an antidote, so he wants it so, so she can bite him and turn him. So you found and gave it to him, and now Livy's turned him back into a vampire? Not exactly. Come on, do it, Caleb. Make love to me. Now? Yeah, right now. I'm on Denton Twin Trip. But I'm only two feet away. Do you think maybe you could take it outside? You're sort of making me sick. Yeah, but we're not going far. Olivia. Oh, God. Why can't you get me out of my mind? Oh, come on, Caleb. Do it. You like it even more with Allison around, don't you? <laughs> Forget about her. Just do it.
Dr. Birch to OR. Dr. Stephen Birch to OR. What are you doing? What's it look like? You've been stabbed, Kevin. You know you're not ready to be released yet. Well, thank you for your opinion, but I'm checking myself out against medical advice. <clears throat> well, then you're an idiot. You could reopen your wound and start bleeding again. Oh, if that happens, I'll call you and you'll just come patch me up. Oh, really? What makes you think I'll come? You're a doctor. You won't be able to stop yourself. I'll help you if you stay here and act like a reasonable adult. Then I'll take my chances. <clears throat> um, you didn't think I'd let you leave here with this, did you? I told you that was none of your business. Wrong. You're my patient. And you're leaving here to get more of this, aren't you? There's something going on. I don't know what it is, but I can feel it in my bones. We've got everybody on it, Joshua. If anybody sees the Slayer or Caleb or Livy, we'll hear about it. I want you back out there. But we've all... Don't argue with me. I want you out there. And I don't want you to come back until you find something. Do you understand? Joshua, I... I was feeling a bit lonely. You may go, Franklin. I'm so glad you're here, Amanda. You belong here, here with your family. But, you know, losing my granddaughter, I I just feel a little bit lost. Uh, oh. Push off, lady. Watch where you're going, right? <laughs> you all right, my dear? That girl is so rude. Come, join me over here. Uh, come on, just come with me. It'll do you both good. Casey, I told you no already. Okay, look, Jamal, you're still hurting, so is Jack, all right? You guys both lost someone you really well, love. Casey, Jack needs a lot more help than I can give him right now. Okay, and plus, we already had it out about him working at this place. So you guys have a disagreement. Big deal. All right, you guys are way tighter than this. Casey. You need to talk Casey, to did you stop? Hey, what's going on? You too. Stuff to talk about. Peace. What you want? Wait a minute. What did you just say? You want me to prove something to you? To Allison? Fine. No problem. I get it. Wait. Wait. You don't think I just wanted you, needed you to make love to me? Needed would be a good word. Baby. No, no. Please just don't do it. Hey. Hey. Relax. I love you. This thing with Allison is ridiculous. Oh. What, so now I'm ridiculous, too? I cannot even believe we're having this argument. Yeah, well, guess what? I couldn't believe that the two of you talked about that song you wrote together. And I can't believe the way you look. I really had about enough of this. Got a cigarette. Well, I think you should stay out of it. Hey, don't go blaming me just because he won't sleep with you. think what you want to think about me. But you know how much I cared about Allison. Right. That's why you're working for the boss vampire, huh? You think Allison would have gone for that? I'm not going to apologize for getting a gig at one of the hottest nightclubs in no, Jeff, ever seen. You might think it's hot, but to me, standing here looking at you, I am this close to losing it all over again. <laughs> exactly who is that brash, blonde bimbo? Oh, that's Reese. She's with the band. To speak to her about her attitude, but you know, musicians. Can I say? Anyway, Amanda, about Allison's memorial service. Oh, oh yes, yes. Everything has been arranged. I'm so grateful for your help. Well, I, it's helping me also because I really do miss her so much. Oh, I know that you do. Now come with me. I want to inform all the others about the arrangements. Ah, of course. Uh, Jamal, 
everyone. Well, Mrs. B, what are, you, what are you doing in here with this dude anyway? Mrs. B, are, are you okay? I'm doing the best I can under the circumstances, thanks to Mr. Temple. Uh-oh. I just want to invite all of you to my granddaughter's memorial service, thanks to Mr. Temple for arranging things. Oh, wait, wait, Joshua? But Allison would have never want him anywhere near her funeral. That's enough, Jamal. I know you have your own ideas, but Mr. Temple has been very kind to him and arranged everything. He's become like, like family to me. Well, maybe we should discuss what kind of family we're talking about. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe we should. Yeah, come on. Uh, not come so on. fast, Joshua. Don't touch me, Angel. You know what? You make me sick, twisting Allison's grandmother's broken heart like that and turning her into one of you. Well, I'm sorry, but it doesn't happen to be one of your concerns. You really think you can get away with this, huh? Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to whip up another tornado? No, I got something even better. You know, there's a... This story, Sodom and Gomorrah, you ever hear of that? Great big pile of salt? You don't have that kind of power, young lady. Yeah, neither do you. You're taking over this town, but you seem to forget that I work for a group of people who don't give up that easy. So, uh, you better believe, Joshua, that I am going to be on you like I a... I could crush you. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't scare me. You and I both know that uh, you can't touch me. So you know what? Go ahead. Throw your little freak show memorial. I'm gonna make whoa, whoa, sure that hey, nobody hey, goes hey, to hey, that. Stop, 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 stop. That's not a good idea, Case. Ricky, you know I can take care of myself. Yeah, I know all about your rock and roll angel wings, all right? But that doesn't mean that you should go messing with Mr. Dawn of the Dead. I didn't know that you still cared what I did. And I didn't know that angels lied. Of course I care. You know I care. I'm lucky to have someone that Joshua's tell us looking after me. Well, I bet you he's looking after your bank account, Miss Barrington, your whole estate. I trust Joshua with everything, including Allison's memorial. And I'm sure if my granddaughter were here, she would say the same thing and feel the same way. <sighs> Dude, Allison would never forgive us if it went down like this. No, don't even worry about it. Okay, Allison, she's gonna get the memorial she would've wanted. Count me in. What? Get your boss all riled up. You're gonna go against Joshua? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? It's very dangerous what you're doing, keeping this from Caleb. Obviously, you know that if Caleb finds out, you have Livy's antidote. Come on, cousin. All right, Joshua's bad enough, all right? I don't want Caleb to get his fangs back just in time to start an all-out war. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So what do we do now? Let me take care of that. You take this. All wait, right. wait, no, no, wait a minute. Let's let's think about this. Why don't you just get rid of the thing? Because if Allison is ever alone with Caleb, he can use it as a bargaining chip. Right, exchange Allison for the antidote. So you're fine with this? You're, you're willing to have Caleb be restored? Well, if it's ever a matter of Allison staying alive, yeah, in a heartbeat. Would you just get out of my face, Allison? What Caleb and I do is none of your business. Oh, no, I think you made it my business when you both started moaning and groaning all over each other. They both, you knock it off, right? Do you really think that I would be that stupid? To have an affair with him right under your nose? Oh, I know how you work it with your hair and your smile. You're so sweet on the outside, but always twisting every man around your little finger. <laughs> so now I'm the one who's manipulative. No, this, this is Would stupid. you just this stay out of this, Oh, I'm please? out of it. I am out of everything. This is driving me crazy, stuck in this cave with you two. I used to make things happen. I used to be in control, but look at me now. I'm stuck here doing nothing, just waiting for things to happen. No, wait, where are you going? I'm gonna take back a little control. Now look what you've done. I tested this concoction. No doctor prescribed it for you. I'm a doctor, Karen, and I can take care of myself. Well, you're not doing a very good job. This is a mind-altering drug, Kevin, plus a few other ingredients I can't even identify. Like I said, this is none of your business. Where'd you get this? Okay, the Q&A is over. I know the signs of someone with a problem. I can help you. Karen, I know your intentions are good, but it's not what you think. That medication doesn't even make me high. Do you hear yourself? You sound like a hardcore addict. Well, I'm not an addict, and I don't need your help. Are you going to give me that or not? No. OK, fine. I have more at home. For Pete's sake, why don't you just come inside? I was just worried about you after your accident. I... Really? Don't you mean after you stabbed me? So this is easy, right? All you have to do is stop Joshua, stop Livy from uh, biting Caleb, and stop Caleb from becoming yeah, a vampire yeah, yeah, again. Cousin, yeah, this is yeah. great. You can do this. Okay. <sighs> There's a two of you. 
How you feeling? I'm good. I mean, I got this doctor person here that keeps telling me what to do. He's bossy and giving me transfusions and stuff, but he's right. I hate that. I feel better. So. Uh -huh. What about you? Well, I mean, other than me being a vampire, I, I don't even like saying the word. Um, okay, I guess. Hang in there, right? Yeah. Is there anything I can do to help you? Actually, yeah, I need a steady blood supply for living. Whatever you need, I'll take care of it. Let me have that. Thanks. Yeah, I guess you need that blood supply for Livy. I'm sure her willpower isn't quite as good as this one here, huh? Would you please, please, please be careful, cousin, okay? All right. Okay. Don't worry. Call me later. Go on. Hey, hey. Hold up, man. Uh, hey. Dude, we heard about Allison. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm holding on. How could you yeah. let this happen? You should be watching and protecting Jamal, her. Jamal, I'm already blaming myself, well, don't yell all right? At me, don't yell at me, and I don't care. Guys, look, Thank we need are. to be talking about Joshua right now. What about him? He's planning Allison's memorial service. He what? What, what like he still has some kind of claim over her? We want our own service with our friends and family. Yeah. Well, done our way. Is that cool with you? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. That's, that's <clears throat> exactly what I want, but you know, um, right now, I really, I really got to get somewhere. You don't get it. We want this service now, as in tonight. Are you happy now? I'm stuck in here with you while Caleb's out doing God knows what because of you. Hey, look who looks like the jealous girlfriend. I don't even want Caleb. I know what I saw, Allison. That whole thing with the song the two of you wrote together. Are you oh kidding me? Oh, my God. Right. This is the part where you think that I'm crazy and manipulative and scheming and everything else, right? You are. No, I'm not. This isn't even about me. This is about you. And you not being able to give Caleb what he needs. You think you can? Hey, don't twist this around. I am not the bad guy here. You are just upset because you can't bite him, and you're taking it out on me as usual, and you're being completely irrational. You know, I am sick and tired of every Back time. Off. Don't ruin this like you ruin everything else. Did you keep your mouth shut before I shut it for you? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna bite me? Rafe hasn't made it back with the blood yet, and I am very hungry. Look, you just stay away from me, okay? And besides, <laughs> everyone already thinks you're dead, and I killed you. So why don't I just make it true? You know, I've got, I, I gotta get going, Ricky, but uh, thanks again for trying to watch my back. You know I'm never gonna stop caring about you. I know, I... But what? Come on, Casey, say it. I just thought that... I'm sick of this dump. Did anyone see where Jack and Jamal went? Uh, not a clue, Reese, but you know what? You, you gave me a great idea. We should go track them down. Wait, Casey... Well, come for you you want to come with us <laughs> no I uh, I got some stuff I need to take care of here okay Joshua unlucky in love Ricky I want to talk about it why don't you just stay out of my personal life huh you know you strike me as being a very ambitious young man that's one of the things that I really like about you yeah, well, I still got some big dreams for this band, if we could just focus. Well, you see, I really would like to focus and take this band to the heights where you see it. But I've got this angel who keeps looking over my shoulder. So what does that have to do with me? You're a smart kid. How would you make an angel feel? Think about it, Ricky. It sounds like you're asking me to, uh... No. To... All I said was, think about it. You want me to sleep with Casey? so that she'll get yanked back upstairs. I have mucho confidence in you, Ricardo. Wow. Ricky will take care of Casey. Frank will take care of Caleb. So, I have two less weights hanging around my neck. Keep looking for me. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Desire. Port Charles. Who puts a funeral service off for someone they love? 
We both know you have an antidote, and you're gonna give it to me. Everyone already thinks I killed you. That is the last time you will threaten me with that. Emmys have been handed out. Now SoapNet's showing what you missed. Coming up next, join host Vanilla Hughes and Walt Willie for SoapNet's daytime Emmy wrap-up show. See what the stars were wearing and who thanked who on SoapNet.